Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, March 25, head coach Hubert Davis of the North Carolina Tar Heels reacts on the sidelines in the first half of the game against the UCLA Bruins in the Sweet 16 round of the 2022 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament at Wells Fargo Center on March 25, 2022 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A five-star UNC basketball recruit was in attendance for the Tar Heels' thrilling victory over the UCLA Bruins in the Sweet 16. As if there wasn't enough to be excited about on the court last night during the Tar Heels' back-and-forth, wire-to-wire thriller against the UCLA Bruins, there was somebody taking the game in from the stands that has UNC fans excited for what lies ahead. That somebody, who watched the Tar Heels withstand the best effort of a team had reached the Final Four last year and seemed destined to do the same this year, was class of 2023 recruit Simeon Wilcher. Simeon Wilcher and his father Sergio are in Philadelphia to watch North Carolina slash UCLA in the Sweet 16 as well as St. Peter's slash Purdue. He'll illustrated Fixia Damfe Simeon Wilcher 8BXMQ 4QRBA, David Sisk March 25, 2022. Wilcher and his father, Sergio, who live in nearby Roselle, New Jersey, were in Philadelphia to watch his future team in their first Sweet 16 appearance since 2019. Now, the consensus five-star prospect will have an opportunity to see them take their successful season one step further when they face off with the 15th-seeded St. Peter's Peacocks for the right to play in the Final Four. It was fitting that Wilcher, a 6-foot, 4, 185-pound guard, got to watch a current UNC guard, Caleb Love, go off for his career-best 30-point game, which featured a dazzling 27-point second-half performance that carried the Tar Heels to the finish line. Wilcher will have that opportunity, too, but he'll have to wait until the fall of 2023 as he's still just finishing his junior year at Roselle Catholic. Wilcher, fresh off leading his team to the New Jersey Tournament of Champions title, is the number 13 prospect in the 2023 class according to the 247 Sports Composite. He's second among players at his position and number three in the state of New Jersey. He committed to North Carolina nearly two years before he was due to step foot onto a college campus. Follow us Keeping It Heel on Twitter and like our fan page on Facebook for continued coverage of UNC basketball news, views, and recruiting updates, as well as everything March Madness.